Julius. It's my favorite stuffed animal when I was younger. Chimpanzee from uh, Animal Park down south in Norway. Yes, and he still have it. You still have yes. it? I don't know where it is, though. It's, I don't, uh, I don't know. Until I was I like can, uh, 13, 14. Have it I had it all the time. It's now big. this is going to be a big, big thing in the locker room. and. Here. <laughs> so I dressed it like this. Adidas, clothes, and everything. I've always been afraid of the dark, so this is my companion. Chef. This is Julius, everyone. Even now, still, if I'm in a big, big house with a dark room, I don't like it. It's been part of a lot. It's a Norwegian legend. Norwegian legend. Monkey. <laughs> yes. Fortunately, he's dead now, though, but. Yes, so. I think so. <laughs> I'm Matt Tuccarello, and this is my beginnings. Here we are at my rink that I used to play with when I was a kid. I started here when I was six until I was 15. My mom used to drive me here in the morning and then go to work. And then I was just here down here uh, skating um, all day. And she picked me up at, uh, at night when she came back from, from work. So uh, it's kind of my babysitter. And I'll see you on the ice. I'm gonna meet some of my friends who still plays in the, the senior team here. So this is where you play with your buddies that you play with since you were five, five, six, and uh, this is what you appreciate when you just go out and you have a competition. And you just enjoy yourself. When we practice now these days, I mean, he's uh, extremely good at keeping hockey fun. The first time I remember playing against Mats, it was when I was like, seven, eight years old. We just started playing hockey. And of course, you noticed him because he was the best player on the opposite team. And we were uh, rivals. So I used to hate him, actually. So it's tough to play against him. Glenn! He was the one guy you, you noticed right away on the ice. Of course, he was small, and, and so you notice a small guy if he's good, but he had that extra skill, and nobody else on the ice had that. I remember a final back in the days. Yeah. It was the junior championship, and he got two penalty shots, and he sniped one between my legs. It still trips me about that one. NHL is a dream for every kid who plays hockey. So now Matt makes their dream seem so much closer, though, because he made it and he came from here. My friends are the most important thing in the world, and besides my family here. And I think we're having a lot of fun together. Now we're going home uh, to my mom, where I grew up. I believe maybe my brother's home, too, maybe if, if, he, if he's not sleeping. So. Uh, uh, I just called her, asked if she can make me some breakfast so, or lunch, late lunch, late breakfast. Um, I live by myself, so uh, sometimes I'm too lazy to cook, so I just called my mom. So here we are uh, at my mom's house where I grew up. She knows I'm coming, so uh, lunch is served uh, probably in a couple of minutes. So uh, yeah, come on in. Uh, this is my mom, Anita. Uh, she's cooking for me right now, like she always do, and um, it's a BLT sandwich, so... Um, Actually uh, American. Yeah, American. It's, it's an American dish, so... I believe my brother's up here playing a little bit of Xbox, too. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is my brother, Fabian. You guys say hi. Hi. Nice. So this used to be two rooms, so I had my room was here and his room was there. So he was pretty happy when, when I moved out. He got a big room for himself. So uh, you see you got uh, New York City in the background. 
When he was little, I used to put him in a net, put a mask on him, goalie mask, and I used to shoot. And every time I hit his mask, he just fell over because the mask was too heavy. It's just fun. We have good memories. Good memories. Yeah. A lot of fighting. Yeah, I fight a lot. Show him who's boss, still. <laughs> I used to have uh, Peter Forsberg, I remember, on this wall. Peter Forsberg, Joe Sakic, and Patrick Roy, I remember. And then I had a couple of soccer posters. Um, so it's now. He's got posters of me, so that's pretty cool. So just a normal BLT, all uh, bacon, corn, lettuce. Just uh, mom shows that she cares about me. It's not Norwegian uh, breakfast, but they love it. When she cooks, my favorite is uh, meatloaf. So every time my first meal and my last meal when I leave, it's, it's always meatloaf. And then uh, it's called fish balls. I don't know if you guys have it uh, uh, over there, but um, that's pretty good too. So uh, it's traditional Norwegian food I like. Until my stepdad came, it's just me and my mom until I was eight, nine. She knows me best. I know her. Uh, I think uh, just uh, really, really uh, lucky to have her in my life. She does everything for me, and, and I'm really spoiled. Uh, this is kind of like a scrapbook or whatever you can say. I don't know. Uh, it's from uh, it's like newspapers from when I was little. This is just like a. Norwegian Youth Magazine, I think. Yeah. It's uh, top. Yes. I'm going to show you my picture from first day of school. I haven't forgiven her for that outfit or that. Uh, not he wants to go back day. to kindergarten. Yeah. This is me in uh, the Olympics in 94. Uh, it's Norway against Czech, maybe? It's me and my mom in Venice, I guess? Yes. That here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty cool picture. I was probably a ninja turtle already. Right ninja turtles. He loves ninja turtles. Yeah, I love yes. ninja turtles. Here we go. That's me and me and Alex, the guy I talked to earlier, uh, my best friend. He used to win the first couple years, and then after that, I always won. I had one year, everyone got to their puberty early and everyone was so big and I was still a little, little Zuki. You are who you are, you just can't really change your size. You gotta take advantage of it in the best possible way. And uh, I mean, I, I always use a phrase that it's harder to catch a mouse than an elephant. So uh, I just, uh, I'll, I live after that. It's, uh from my first uh, NHL game, uh, the sheet. I'm pretty proud of that. My goal when I signed the contract was to uh, to play one game, and uh, when I played that game, I knew I, I made it. Uh, December 23rd, I ended up celebrating Christmas in New York. Good evening, everybody. I'm Al Troutwick. If you saw him play in the Olympics representing Norway, you know what an exciting player Matt Zuccarello is. And he will be exciting tonight. Going out in the garden for the first time, the feeling that I had that was unbelievable. Parents and my brother, they were all there to witness that and, and be a part of that. Pinch yourself in the arm sometimes and just look around and say, it's unbelievable that I'm sitting here with these good players. Moments ago, our cameras caught John Tortorella going down the bench and talking to Matt Zuccarello. Yeah. So, you want to go? Yeah, put me out there. Look at him. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, um, can't really describe it. Now it's up to Matt Zuccarello in his first NHL game. Here he comes in against Dan Ellis to keep it alive. Slows down, fakes, scores! Nice move. That is great. What is this night going to mean for you and what are you going to remember after this night? Playing my first game, so I'm pretty happy. Probably my greatest night of my life. This is where uh, we used to go to school. But this is like this is where it all started, right here. The 
Growing up down here, it's, it's pretty nice. I come from Hushla, like we say in Norwegian. It's a five minute uh, ride from, from the rinks. I had a great childhood. That's what shapes you the most, is, is how your family treat you or, or what they teach you when you grow up. So uh, I, I don't think it, it matter where or when you grow up. It's, it's a matter of uh, family values. My elementary school is right here, where I spent seven years, right here. So this brings up a lot of memories. This is where uh, we used to go to school. But this is like, this is where it all started, right here. We played a lot of uh, soccer on the wall over there. Uh, see the ball marks on the windows, probably mine, <laughs> still. <laughs> This used to be my favorite toy right here, too. I'm too... Oh, I'm too... I can't do it. <laughs> I used to be real good at this, so... I used to have a school record and going fast down the, down the hill here. I remember my mom told me that we, we were going to write an essay sometimes before we can go out and play. And I wrote, uh, me and my dad went fishing, got fish, got home, and then I ran out. And uh, the teacher had to come grab me because the essay wasn't good enough. So all those good teachers that you have, it's, it's, it's been helping um, molding or, or, or shaping the, the person I am today. So uh, hopefully I'm a good person and I uh, have them to, to thank for, for a lot of that. So. Uh, those times with no worries and uh, it's something you really miss. So here you see where they put water. Uh, it comes ice here and, and this is where I probably spend five hours a day just uh, skating around. This is really where you learn to lo love hockey. See, there's a soccer field here right now, and during the winter, it's ice. This is where I spent most of my childhood. Uh, I, when I was younger, I always, uh, if I was here, uh, my mom came and picked me up. I was going to practice. Um, I never wanted to go because uh, this is more fun. I remember one time, I was the only one that was out. It was pouring rain, uh, I scored. I went on my knees and slided. I took my jersey over my head and I, Celebrate like no one was out there. And when I took it off, there was like a whole couple coming, stopping, look at me, and I was like, uh, kind of embarrassed then, but uh, they probably knew I scored an important goal. So. I don't know. I've, I've always been looking up to people. Like right now, when I talk about players that you look up to, uh, I, I think Patrick Kane is an unbelievable player, and he's one year younger than me. So uh, I've always picked up stuff. Uh, when I practice with New York, I usually do a Patrick Kane celebration when he uh, when he does something good, and he goes out and he's like, uh, he scores the goal, and then and then he goes like, <laughs> goes like that. So uh, <laughs> it's hard here, but it's it's more looks better on the ice. <laughs> and it's knocked away by Ward. Here's Zuccarello. He scores! Matt Zuccarello with his first NHL goal wins it in overtime. Right here used to be my spot right here. We were here a class called Norwegian and we made a big movie. And I was the main character. Yeah, I would for sure rate my performance six out of six. Uh, gave it 110%, and that's all you can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hockey, it's not uh, life or death here in Norway. It's more soccer and, and skiing in general. Uh, that is pretty big. So uh, hockey is a small sport, uh, but uh, they get a lot of like they get like average probably a couple thousand on the games in, in the elite league here in Norway. So uh, I think it's number two uh, sport. So here we are at my school. Really learned a lot here, how to be a professional and how to work out and how to train. So uh, show you around a little bit here and uh, meet my old coach. 
Smile Coach welcome. Robert. Yeah, welcome by. Welcome back, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, haven't been here in maybe eight years. Yeah. And it's nice to be back. Now we're going to show you around a little yeah. bit. It's a lot of different stuff you get, you get to learn being here. And uh, obviously, you see there's some pictures on the wall here and uh, that you were pretty proud of. This is uh, 2010 Vancouver. And we have a couple of uh, two, three hockey players here, and then some skiers and a uh, few athletes that uh, represent NTG uh, who went here and, and became an Olympic athlete. I think everyone's just photoshopped here, yeah. so uh, I look better <laughs> in real life. <laughs> I'm one of the few people who doesn't look better in Photoshop. <laughs> one of the unique opportunities here in Norway to uh, combine hockey and, and school uh, as a team. I think it's, it's the best step I've ever made as a hockey player is to uh, be able to go to this school and, and uh, kind of learn what it takes for you to become a top athlete. You compete every day with your teammates and, and I think uh, the biggest strength in the team that we had, we, we won uh, almost every year. Was it just a mentality that uh, um, I don't think you get in other schools if you don't play on the same team? And uh, I think that brought the best uh, out in uh, a lot of us. So now we're head to my classroom right here, <coughs> where I spend most of my time here at NTG. This was this, right here used to be my spot right here. I don't know well, I why. I think you'll uh, sit in the back. No, you sit she, here? she wanted me right here. The teacher? Maybe because here? I'm the only one who okay. raised my oh, hand okay. and questions okay. and stuff, so. <laughs> I used to be good talking in German, but uh, I haven't. Well, this is ish is me, uh, do is you. Air, I don't know. <laughs> you, maybe. I remember we had a Norwegian, we had a class called Norwegian, and we made a big movie. We worked on it for one year, and I was the main character. I played uh, a guy called uh, Björn Stjerne Björnsson. He's like a famous writer in Scandinavia. We went to the museum and I actually got to sit in his chair. That is, that's off, off limit and I'm the only one. It's me and him. It's yeah. the only people <laughs> I sit in that chair. And I was acting like I was writing. Can you come and see I was with you on many spreads? I can do it. But I was a pretty well-voxed young man. Yeah, I would. For sure, rate my performance six out of six. Uh, I gave it 110 percent, and that's all you can. <laughs> <laughs> of course, when our top students come back, they must sign uh, a lot of stuff for the fans and uh, the teacher and everything like that. And, and Mats is the only one in National Hockey League, and of course, we are real proud of him here in school. And uh, so, yes, yeah, start to sign. The key to a signature for me is as short as possible. Just show them the Z. The reason that I got 36 is uh, simple as the first time I uh, came in here or in the locker room at NTG, that's that's a number I got. So uh, well, now it's my favorite number. So. NTG meant the world to me. It took me from being a, a kid who kind of just had fun and played and to really showing me what, what it takes to become a real athlete and yeah, become an adult. When he scored in the Stanley Cup, it doesn't get bigger. We were sitting there, all our, our bodies watching live, middle of the night. In Norway, it's, it's a saying that no one should be uh, more worth than anyone else, so it doesn't really matter what you do. It's uh, <coughs> Everyone's the same. The best quality about New York is it doesn't matter who you are, what you are, if you find your own community, you're accepted for who you are in New York. Obviously, I worked really hard to be, become an NHL player, and I don't know if I wanted it more or less or whatever, but uh, I like to think that everything happens for a reason and, and everything is going to work out at the end. So, <coughs> so uh... Here's the pond uh, where I used to skate by myself uh, when I was younger. 
I used to live in that building right there. Uh, you can see on the far, far side of that one. So I, my window was out here, so I usually just went out here. So every time we had a practice, I just run up here, started practice. And usually I stayed until night. Maybe my mom came and got me, but uh, usually I was home <clears throat> to have some uh, uh, late night dinner, or uh, what do we say, late night snacks. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty far from this pond to, uh, to Madison Square Garden. Uh, but uh, at the same time, I enjoy both of them equally. Uh, only difference is I have better fans in a garden that cheer us on every, every day. But uh, this area, is, it's really special for me. Uh, kept me, kept me going. It's so unreal. A little guy from Norway is over there and making it big. It's really cool. I mean, when, when he scored in, in the Stanley Cup, it doesn't get bigger. Bouillot trying to dance free. It's thrown over for a shot. We're sitting there, all uh, our buddies watching live middle of the night here. And uh, when when your best friend scores, such a big thing. I mean, it's makes us proud. He's so thankful for the fans, for your teammates, and uh, New York Rangers to be able to give me that uh, experience. That's uh, unbelievable. When he was younger, he was all about having fun. Yeah, I think he's always thought about the game as fun, and he's still doing it. It's really amazing uh, going back and, and see that you can start from a pond like that and, and be able to play in Madison Square Garden. It's, it's a pretty big, yeah, big step, but uh, um, shows that it's possible for, for everyone to realize their dream if they really have a lot of luck and hard work, dedication. Matt's been one of the smaller guys. I, I think it's been a big part of shaping him as a player. People said, yeah, he's too small to make it in the Norwegian top league. Then he did that, and then same thing when he was going to Sweden. He's too small, he's gonna get hurt, he's, he can't play in the, in the pro leagues, and uh, he dominated there too, especially when he went uh, overseas, and a lot of people said, no chance. Do you see those big guys and how fast he's going, he, he's gonna get injured, and I mean, he did that too, so uh, you gotta love about him. I mean, he proves people wrong, and he always has, and probably always will. When you look back at a day like today, you really appreciate what people meant to you. And I've been lucky for sure. A normal guy from Norway, it's not often that you have the chance to make it to the NHL.